welcome to embedded world in this uh, video not only in this video this is a kind of a playlist okay so the playlist um, will be start from this video this video has been already broadcasted around two and a half years ago okay so the can protocol top 50 question and answers in uh, can protocol this is what the video is so this video will be the first video in this playlist and after that we have already 50 question and answers but uh, we got few comments saying that um, there is um, no explanation for this just only reading the slides like that and few are given the comments like it's good and it's good enough because uh, it depends on the people right so pay, uh, who are as a beginner they may expect some uh, kind of uh, uh, you know the explanation and who are uh, moderate or the um, above average on their work experience like a uh, three years or four years they may easily crack so that's what but still we need to uh, you know uh, focus everybody so we are um, bringing the 50 the next upcoming 50 videos will be explanation on each and every question that is 50 questions and the answers explanation also will be there all right so yes we'll start with this so first question is what is can okay and if you have any questions you can uh, give in the comment section so that uh, we will not end up with the 50 we will go more than whatever the comments uh, questions we have all right so first question is what is can this is what in the video if you want uh, if, if you want this video anyhow i'm creating the playlist right so in the playlist i'll keep on add or add this uh, video so that you'll get fine what is can and yeah before that yes uh, we have already launched the apple mobile application so the in the play store you can uh, type embedded world if you are uh, using uh, ios that is uh, apple you have to type or uh, know the vendor class plus and you have to give the org code so that details has been given in our previous video you can check it out and in that just very short uh, uh, notice so we have already uh, two kind of users one is already paid users you already paid for the premium courses right so what you want to do is you want to just uh, download this app and in the comment box you can uh, in the in the chat option will be there in the application you can just uh, co comment saying that i have already purchased if possible you can share the screenshot of the payment also okay and uh, if you have that you'll have some coupon code and if you apply that coupon code you have to pay some 300 or 400 something if you are interested you can go for it because in that you will have a number of uh, you know test live classes uh, monthly twice like that live class will be there and so many features are there okay if you are interested you can go for it if you're new users yes you can download the app and you can uh, pay for the course okay so that explanation what what the course consists everything has been given in the previous video you can watch it out fine so first what is can okay so here i have given the answer so if someone asks you what is a can you can give this answer it's more than enough okay so because it covers almost all so first point is can is a controller area network so what is controller area network of course this may be a bit uh no uh, very basic so if you're really good enough uh, you have a good knowledge on this you can ignore or uh, if you want to brush up you can watch it right so first is uh, what is controller area network see you can just uh, take the thing called area network area network okay so area network typically talks about something network we have something in the network so network means what we have, there will be some kind of a cluster in this you'll have some uh, some point of connections like that so here the point of connection is whatever it may be here it is ECU in our automotive you can speak it is a ECU so if we five people or six people we connected in the call then it is also a network right so see this here it's me it's another person a b c d e f so whoever it may be but here in the automotive it is a ECU the microcontroller so that's what the area area um, network it's a controller area network so just a network okay so it's a this network has been linked with this controller microcontroller so this microcontroller is a can okay that's what they just named as a can okay so this one you will not get more depth because it's very simple coming to this so the three points are very important can is message oriented multi master protocol used to connect several issues so first in this you, you can uh, understand what what is message oriented what is multi master all right so mostly you may know miss many of you know but you know people are coming every year people are passed out people are joining new to the organization people are new to this field yeah so they would first is message oriented protocol what is message oriented protocol oriented protocol so first protocol means is a set of rules 
okay set of rules say if i want to talk to you in these so if i want to explain you something so i have to follow set of protocols so what's what are the protocols so i have to talk in english I, the, my communication has to be in english so that it, it can it, it can be understand by majority all right then i have to be purely technical i should not talk about any gossip so i should not talk about uh, anything which is not relevant to this to this field all right so and after that i should have some discipline to talk so these are all some set of rules that i have to follow similarly message oriented protocol means so this particular um, network that is the can protocol okay it has some set of rules so what are the rules so that will be in the upcoming videos but protocols means rules again message oriented protocol means so what are the rules it is following fine but those rules should be in the message oriented format only it should keep on sending the messages 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 you know in the can trace window in the canalizer or cano you can see the messages used to transmit like with the seconds uh, 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.2 like this so it will keep on send the information through messages so now how i am transmitting the messages through the through my words all right so like that so how the birds used to uh, transmit the information to another bird it will it will uh, use their sound all right so like that can the message oriented it will give it will transmit the information all right it communicates the information in the message oriented format the format will be message so that's what so message oriented means it's a message or uh, message orient oriented means it is a formatted all right so it is a message oriented that's what it's a message oriented and multi master so what is multi master again see here i said we have so many nodes okay node a b c d e f g so we have around seven nodes okay seven nodes so before this i'll just give you a quick example if you are in a class okay if you are in a class in your college days or you just imagine you are in a class you have this blue color right so this is you this is you and your friends these are all you and your friends and he is your master okay your ma'am or your professor whoever it may be okay so in a class what will happen is he used to talk something he used to give some instructions you guys has to follow that example he'll give some assignments you all should do that he'll conduct some tests you all should as, uh, attend that means you're attending or not but you have to respond so that is that is a master slave so here he is a considered as a master okay he's a only master all slaves that is in a protocol uh, concepts the master and slave okay that is not it's you should not consider english uh, slave okay so nobody is a slave all right so but in this uh, in this or in the uh, particular uh, communication protocol networking you have the master slave so he is a master and you all slaves okay this is a master slave concept so in master slave concept what happens is one guy has to give instruction others has to respond other has to receive it like he is a transmitter he will be the receiver only he should transmit so no people should order to his master okay questioning is different but ordering is different like that here master slave communication means only he has to transmit others has to receive okay so others has to uh, follow the instruction that is a master slave communication but can is not a master slave communication all right so here can is a multi master okay multi master multi master means now you can in the same class your your professor went off outside okay now only you people are there okay only you people are there so here what will happen as you have a general discussion first this guy will start something and you all respond suddenly this guy will get some idea and he'll talk then you all so he'll transmit then after that he'll transmit you all receive once he transmit he'll receive again means he start to transmit he'll again receive again he'll start so the communication will be like a multi master means here not only one master here everybody is a master when their turn comes okay if if his topic is over and he has something some message to transmit then he'll become master at the time he'll become slave so once he is done so suddenly some priority message comes uh, is need to transmit from this guy in he'll become a master and others all become slaves so this is a concept of multi master all right multi master so here all are master and all are slaves whenever the time comes 
they'll uh, take their own role and responsibility so this is a can so here uh, why I'm talking about this multi master and what these nodes so uh, will come so that that's a basic question like who is not uh, into this uh, you no know, game into this field they may they may consider so who are all they you are explaining the students but in actual what natural these are ECUs okay so this is a kind of uh, airbag ECU this is a wheel speed sensor this is a brake ECU this is a cluster infotainment so all used to transmit data to one another okay this wheel speed sensor keep on giving the uh, speed range to the um, break break issue that is we have the master computer the master computer is a kind of a cluster it will record all but you'll have all these issues have the communication one-to-one -one communication okay so not, not one to one it's it will broadcast depends upon the uh, arbitration so that and all will comes next so first you have to understand this it's a multi master all right so next comes is I think you got clear if not can please leave a comment we'll again discuss can is used to so that's what multi message or multi master protocol used to connect several issues that's what several issues so here we have several issues right that's it then can is used to communicate issues without a host computer see here I said one host computer will be there so it's it's not required this computer to be there it is used to make us understand what is going on but if you remove this also there is nothing the only the ECU can can communicate with each other with can protocol all right so can protocol means it's just a microcontroller this micro wherever this microcontroller presence this microcontroller uh, will enable the communication between all the nodes so can follows serial asynchronous communication so very important what is serial asynchronous serial asynchronous so what is synchronous asynchronous so very very simple see for example if this airbag here I said these are all the issues right so here this airbag module is going on and uh, here it's airbag and here it's some other some other issues so what happens is as it is in a automotive we can't predict or the issues can't predict what will happen next because everything is accidental everything is not a you know it's not like a periodical it's everything is accidental uh, whatever the time the car uh, car may start at any time car may um, you know hit with accident or any any time ABS may activate or any time so any time anything can happen so without any expectation without proper clock signal without proper clock okay the particular uh, protocol has to support the communication that is called asynchronous communication so asynchronous communication is a simple that is where there is no synchronous there is no set of clock signal has been assigned then the asynchronous communication comes into a picture say for example if you are setting some frequency okay so some frequency of 70 Hertz hmm, so the 70 Hertz frequency will, will keep on you know uh, keep on go in this way so this is kind of a synchronous communications all are expected so uh, once it reaches the 50 cycles so it will give some buzzer so it will wait for the 50 cycle then it will give buzzer so this will keep on continue this is a um, fixed but asynchronous is something happens see there will be no particular no clock okay suddenly some uh, some uh, event occurs then there will be a clock so this this is not expected this is unexpected so that is why can should support the asynchronous mode of communication okay so you can just um, you know, very simple you can go through what is synchronous and asynchronous asynchronous is, is uh, something which is um, happen all of a sudden or unexpected or randomly can can name anything okay so that is why uh, as in car we should we have this kind of communication so can should support the asynchronous so that's all about this first okay then in the upcoming videos what is a can high low 120 ohm nodes everything will be in the upcoming videos if you have any questions just you can always leave in the comment section and again if you want to download this app you can download and there will be so many interesting things will be in the live as well will we can have a live interaction everything so shortly the, the some some pending courses are there that also will be freezed all right so if you are really interested you can enroll we'll get back to you in the next video until then bye take care